a couple long range shots. We got the phone scope here to see if we can record it. It does move the reticle. That sucker's bouncing all over the place. Not, not super stable. Here, you want to sit on the cooler? You want to sit on the cooler? I don't think it's. I don't think that's the deal. It's just two points of contact. It's... I think you'll feel better sitting on the cooler when you get your legs and your base better. Well, I'm just bouncing all over his chest. Dot. Ready? It's almost like a bow. It like 60 yards. So I just pulled through it. That you see the dead tree? tree? The first one that when the gun went off. Oh, the side that bush. The gun was on top of his back. Yeah, he's down. There's some more blood. Uh -huh. Yeah, here's a piece of something on there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Well done. Well done. Uh, what was the yardage on that? The final tally? 677, I think. Wow. Very good. Well done. Good shot. Look at that. That's not a bad shot. It's good. Beautiful. Well done. Congratulations. It's a beautiful springbuck as well. Is it good? Yeah, it's a beautiful springbuck. Really good. Awesome. So, Keith, um, um, we wanted to do some long range and you got it done first shot. Um, very impressed. Um, tell us more about the gun and the experience you had. Absolutely. You know, this is, and Bart can probably help us out even more, but this is the 7 PRC. Yep. From Crown Precision. And we took this to the range. Um, this gun was right around a, a third MOA. So very, very accurate, which is what you need for those long range shots. Mm -hmm. Did very well. Yeah. All I did was pull the trigger. <laughs> We're shooting the Hornady uh, 7 PRC, which is uh, tough to find right now, as everybody knows. Um, it was 175 grain ELDX. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were using the, the six hour uh, BDX system, system and uh, I ranged it for him and uh, it Bluetooth back back to the scope and then uh, puts a red dot in there so that the shooter knows exactly where to you know to place that yeah. uh, instead of having to dial it does it all automatically and uh, it works perfect I mean it's it's, it's great mm -hmm. stuff yeah it's a small target at, at that distance this is a <laughs> it's a very small target <laughs> Keith and I have done some long-range shooting on other animals and, and enjoy it doing it together and but this is by far the smallest uh, Yes. We, we shot at distance. Normally, normally at elk and stuff. So <laughs> yes. A little bitty. <laughs> well, you did fantastically well. Um, very impressed with the gun, the setup, and um, we'll, um, we're sitting way on a ridge over there. Yep. If you look back, um, it looked mighty small. Yeah, I guess we should mention it was 677 yards. Yeah, that's right. That's Fantastic. a long ways. It's crazy. On a springback, it's a very small target, and it got it done as soon as we shot it, it ran for about 60 yards and tumbled and we couldn't see it anymore and we walked out here and it was a pretty nice blood trail that we picked up very quickly and we got right to it and splendid trophy beautiful springback i mean it's a beautiful old nice mature springback well done congratulations on it on a great trophy and a great hunt yes yeah good job keith great shot mm -hmm.